Using the Weather Channel's flood effects simulation, I can show you how things are going to change here. So let me set the stage. Reynolds was down here, just off the map. Um, this is C Street here. Along this, it would take you out to the water. You go up, you can see the marshy area up there. We've got, um, we've got First Street, we've got Second Street, we've got Third Street, and we've got City Hall right here, which, by the way, had to have quite a amount of reno renovations. This is a new City Hall, thanks to the surge that we had last year from Edith. So let me keep on the um, well the uh, telestration here for C Street and let's look at how the water is going to come up here. So now we put this into motion and as we see that surge take place, and this will go on through the overnight hours tonight, we're expecting landfall tomorrow morning, you'll see the water come up through this area. So the fire department right there, we've got water coming in. Here, the condos that are right here, um, the Sea Spray condos, they'll take on water. This on the back side of that. So now we're looking over at 2nd and 3rd Streets, taking water all the way in this far. That means vehicles that are in this area will take water in as well. This is if we get that worst case scenario, that potential of up to six feet storm surge in this area. That would be the time of high tide and also getting that big onslaught and the push of water. Again, the worst case scenario. But it's water city for you, in, and the new city hall would be dealing with more water. I think it's this building right here. As you can see, the water surrounding it into the first level of the property here. Many other buildings dealing with that as well. Sir Surge is one of the many risks that we have, but certainly it's a damaging one along the coast and can be a deadly one if you're not out of harm's way. Make sure you're paying attention to local officials in terms of how you need to, uh, to manage the surge risk, but also know that we've got a heavy rainfall risk and a flooding concern in the days ahead from Debbie.